What's up, y'all? It's Len. I am making a video today to show you some stuff that I have here that uh, I'm experimenting. Uh, I, The Dorky Thrifters, uh, if you followed this channel at all, you know that that's a channel that I follow as well. And I know that Becky is really into eyeglasses. And I have... Um, I've bought eyeglasses here and there from thrift stores, and we've sold a couple of pair here and there. Um, but it's something that's always intrigued me because they're small. Uh, they they're easy to ship. The ones that I've I've sold, they ship really easy. Um, and I don't honestly, I don't know much about glasses. I've never worn glasses or contacts. I'm 43. My vision is still uh, very good. You know, praise the Lord for that. So. Um, so today, I want to show you that I am, I wouldn't say I'm all in with eyeglasses, but I had a nice little haul of eyeglasses here. So I'm kind of hoping uh, Becky sees this, <laughs> maybe she'll PM me with some guidance. But let me show you everything that I found. One, I got an empty uh, Ray-Bans eyeglass case here. This, I'm pretty sure is quite vintage but i also got ray-ban the same case with the eyeglass or the sun these are sunglasses by the way these are ray-ban sunglasses there you can see the little logo on the corner there so i think they're cool i think they look pretty awesome and they have the uh they have the original little dust cloth, I guess, with it, or the polishing cloth, whatever you want to call it. So I think that that was a pretty good find. I got each of these for a quarter. And then the rest of these glasses came in a single haul. I think I got like 15 or 16 pair for 19 bucks. Or, yeah, I, I know I'm at about a dollar per pair. So, and again, I don't know how good any of these glasses are. They all look like good quality. Um, here's one that I got. Lacoste. Lacoste. That to me looked like the uh, the alligator that's on like polo shirts, on men's polo shirts. But here's a nice pair of glasses with the little alligator on there. Ooh. See if I can get that to focus. Voila. See, I think I would look all right in glasses. I, I, I won't be able to see anything. But it's funny, when I was a kid, like, nobody, like, e people hated their glasses. Um, in elementary school, a lot of kids would lose or break their glasses. Today, like, my 14-year-old daughter, she wears fashion glasses. Doesn't need glasses. She just gets these frames that are just glass. Um, here's Mark by Mark Jacobs. This came in this little tube. And... Then we have, these are just the frames, by the way. There's no lenses in these. I don't know. Hmm? Anything? Hmm? Hmm? No? Anyhow, um, Becky, if you're watching, tell me how I'm doing here. Um, so, and this one also has the little polishing cloth in it with the brand name on it, which I think has to help, you know, having the case the glasses and the uh, little polishing cloth all matching. Uh, my assumption is that most people just take these to their um, to their optician or optometrist, whatever, and they just have their own subscription or prescription put in there. Um, Pro Design by Denmark, and the, this one kind of is cool. It opens up like this funky clamshell thing, and then this is again just a pair of lenses. Or just a pair of glasses without the lenses. Now, the problem I have here is that I'm missing one small screw right there. So I, I would think I can go to an um, optometrist and just get that fixed up real lickety split. And it has the thing on the inside, the logo and the name and stuff. And essentially... Let's see, what kind are these? Bevel. These look just like the ones I just had, but they're kind of the, the baby blue and brown. Uh, they look cool. Oh my goodness, I... Right there, I can, I can see the lines in my hand without being blurry. 
Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know why people don't get laser surgery, though, as inexpensive as it is nowadays. Um, I know four people who've had it, and my dad is one of them, and they've all had great results from it. For all mankind, seven. These, again, no, no lens, just the frames. I have to research all of these. I just bought these totally blind. I had no idea really what was in there. So I'm like, the, the price was right for less than a buck a pair. Um, Masagu, Ma, Masunaga, Masunaga. These still have the little sticker on the lens there. So I assume that those are probably pretty new, except this lens looks kind of scratched up right there. So what do you think? No? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Um, what I, the reason I did choose these, choose to get these glasses is because they're all fairly contemporary designs, it seems like. There's no, like, there was nothing that was so retro it was, like, not cool, I guess is the way I would put it. So, um, here's another pair of MK, Michael Kors, K-O-R-S, and it has the logo right there on them. So again, no no lens there. I just poked myself in, myself in the eye to prove there's no lens in there. That was probably an unnecessary step. Um, these are Pro Design Denmark. Again, no lens in these, just the frames. I could rock with these, I think. Yeah. Maybe people would take me seriously if I wore glasses or they'd think I'm smarter. Here were some that I was kind of questioning. Like, these are really faded. I don't know if I'll list those or not. They're called Anna Sui, S-U-I. I don't know if there's any value in these ones or not. But um, it has the website on the thing. I'll probably have to just look up the website and see what they sell for. Here's another pair of just... Um, frames. These are sacks. S-A-K-S. So no no lens in those either. I'm not sure these are. I don't think these are men's frames. Maybe. I don't know. They're very small on my head though. These are kind of interesting. You know, I don't do haul videos very much. I'm I'm just kind of trying to show you. These, again, are Pro Design by Denmark. Pro Design Denmark. Yeah. I got a couple of those. I have another very, kind of a, in the similar vein. For all I know, these could be, like, totally generic, and super dirt cheap. Like, I have no idea. So I, I've got to do research on them for sure. Um... Let's see here, another pair of Pro Design Denmark. One thing that worries me is common. They're, if there's a lot of them, that tells me that maybe they're very common, which could mean they're inexpensive or undesirable. However, the other good thing about that is if someone had a pair like these and they broke them, they might buy them for the frame and have their lenses swapped out. So it could be a positive, could be a, mi a minus. This is another just uh, just straight frames. And I'm trying to read this. Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahamas. So, and that says cherry wood grain on them. I would wear these. I would wear these. Would, would anyone know that I don't have lenses in my glasses, really? Like, hey, hi, welcome. How are you? I don't think anyone would know, and they would just think I'm smart. But check out the grain on those. I think if you can make it out, maybe I can move my light a little bit. I don't know if that helps or not, but it's a 